This video will go over how easy it is to use Feedback Wiz. When you first log in, you'll be navigated into your dashboard page, which will provide a quick overview of the following data, such as your orders, broken down by FBA, FBM, and how many emails have been sent, the seller feedback received, sales and promotions, product reviews for your monitored products. Underneath quick stats, you'll be able to see your top 40 best-selling items, your frequent buyers, and your most reviewed products, with the average rating and total reviews provided. You'll be able to see your campaign history for all of your marketplaces. You can change around the graph type by clicking on this icon, which will change how the graph is displayed. You can also customize the dates that are displayed. So we'll go ahead and click on past week and you'll be able to see how quickly the data changes. If you click on the orders tab above, you'll be navigated into your order manager page. The order manager will store all of your order information and you can easily search by the date range, order ID, item title, buyer email, shipment tracking number. You can customize the dates displayed or select an exact date. You have the following filters provided for orders such as orders that are FBA, FBM, seller feedback provided, orders with refunds, notes included, or gift orders. You have the following order statuses that you can filter. Buyer data, order emails to see which orders have had email sent, have had no email sent, or are queued, or nothing in the queue. You can easily filter to see how many items are purchased in quantity for the order as well. You can filter by email campaigns to see which orders received your campaigns, or which orders were targeted manually. You can filter by promotions, such as item promotion, shipping promotion, or both. You can go ahead and also filter by promotional discount amount. You can search by all products, or by ASIN or SKU. If you scroll a little below, you'll be able to see all of the order details. So for this order ID, you'll be able to see it's a FBA order, the order date, the product details, purchased for this order. If you click on this green truck icon, you'll be able to see the shipping and buyer info. And if you click on this edit button, you'll be able to see a pop-up appear to add custom labels or order notes. Custom labels help you locate and filter for the order a lot easier if you did add labels. There is a video going over how to set this up. Order notes are internal, so they're just for your reference. Let's say this order is going to be shipped late or anything that you would want to reference, you can go ahead and include a note here so you can go ahead and filter orders that have notes later to find that order. Let's say for this order, you wanted to manually send them an email, you would just select it and click send email. You can also trigger the review request button from this drop down button, this drop down menu as well. Let's say you wanted to mark this order as do not solicit. That will mean that this order will no longer receive any emails for this order. You can easily remove it from here as well. But if you wanted to blacklist the buyer, you would click on mark do not solicit for buyer, meaning anytime this buyer purchases orders in the future from you, they wouldn't receive any of your emails. You can always remove that as well. You can bulk edit labels which makes it a lot easier to edit the labels that were mentioned earlier. And then custom DNS upload allows you to enter in Amazon order IDs, 1000 max, and you can easily mark the orders as do not solicit or the buyers as do not solicit. If you click on the feedback tab above, you'll be navigated into your feedback manager page. The feedback manager stores all of your seller feedback. You can search by date range, order ID, keywords, or buyer email. You can also search by the past days or select an exact date. The following filters are provided to see if the order was FBA or FBM. You can also filter by the star ratings provided, so we'll go ahead and filter to only display positive ratings. You'll be able to see that I quickly pulled up all of your 4 and 5 star ratings. The actual seller feedback will be provided underneath this comment section. This is dummy data. 
So underneath this comment section would be the actual seller feedback provided. You'll be able to see it came from an FBA order, what the product was purchased, when the seller feedback was provided, the star rating provided, the status which is positive, order ID it came from, and the purchase date of the order. You'll also be able to see the order status as it was delivered. If you click on this edit button, you'll be able to see a pop-up appear. You can create custom labels for any of the feedback which helps locate and filter to locate the seller feedback quicker. You can also include any feedback notes. Let's say you already had communicated with the buyer about something, you can go ahead and leave that here as well. It's internal, so it's just for your own reference to stay organized. You have the following options here. If you wanted to contact the customer, you can manually by clicking on this link and you can also manage this in Seller Central by clicking this. If you click on the Campaigns tab above from the drop-down, go ahead and select Template Manager. The Template Manager stores all of your templates, which are your actual email messages that you've created. If you wanted to create one from scratch, you would click on Create New Email Template. And if you wanted to load any of the pre-built templates that we already provide for you, you would click Load Pre-built Template. We provide these templates for the following scenarios. And these ones are TOS compliant, so we'll go ahead and click on Product Review Request by clicking on View Template and Load This Template. So when you do load it, you'll be able to see this pop-up appear with the Buyer-Seller Messaging Communication Guidelines. Make sure you do go over this. This is already TOS compliant, but if you did want to add in any other information inside the actual email message, Make sure you do read the TOS policies to ensure that you are compliant. You can go ahead and change around the template name or the subject line. For the logo image, go ahead and upload it here. If you have any email attachments, go ahead and upload them here. You can also manage your language variations here. There's in-depth videos of how to set up your actual email templates. But once you do have this template set up and saved, you can always click send test email to yourself as well to see how your actual email message will look like. So once you have the template saved, go ahead and go into your campaign manager. Campaigns will automate the actual email messages. So if you have an email message, you would need to use this option, create custom email campaign. The custom email campaign will allow you to tie any email template to the campaign and automate it. There's also videos going over how to set up the custom campaigns as well. If you go back into the campaign manager, you'll be able to see there's two options for campaigns. The custom email campaign allows you to create your own template and send it as an email message. This option that is the button create Amazon review and feedback campaign. This is actually automating your review request button inside Seller Central. So it is not an email, it is automating the review request button. And there's also videos going over how to set this up. And you cannot change around the template because, again, it's automating the review request button and this is how it will look like when sent. There's videos going over how to set that up as well. Inside your campaign manager, you'll be able to see your campaign history. So let's say for this campaign, you'll be able to see it's automating the review request button going out five days after the order is delivered to this ASIN. It's already sent 458 emails and has 123 queued. This is the date of your last email, the marketplace it's targeting, order type, status, it's active, and then when it was last updated. You can always see your campaign stats as well by clicking on the actual email sent. You also have these action buttons as well. There's in-depth videos on how to use our campaign manager. If you go into your email queue page underneath campaigns, you'll be able to see your email queue page will have all of your request review buttons or your actual emails all queued up inside of this page. And you can search by all orders, ASIN, SKU, or order ID. You can search by all of your campaigns as well. So within this email queue page, you'll be able to see this campaign is going to go out for this order and this is the shipping and delivery information 
with this product purchase, this is the queue date time of when the actual email will be sent. You can always remove this order from the queue if you'd like or mark the order as do not solicit in case you don't want to target them anymore. So that's how our email queue works. If you click on the product manager page underneath the products tab, you'll be navigated into the default layout which stores all of your product inventory from Amazon. You can search easily by names, ASINs, or SKUs. You can change the marketplace by clicking on this drop down carrot underneath marketplaces. You can change the date range displayed or customize what range you would like displayed. You can sort by any of the following such as favorites, title, short title, ASIN, SKU, number of offers, alerts enabled, price, units sold, total orders, gross revenue, Amazon fees, promotions, or refunds. You can have it in ascending or descending form as well, and then you can see within this time frame how many units were sold, number of orders, total promotions, and then gross revenue. You can always click on the graph to see a pop-up appear and go ahead and click on what you would like displayed. You have the following filters provided as well, such as fulfillment, number of offers, alerts, short titles, by labels, favorites, product status, order status, or the currency. There's more in-depth videos going over how these filters do work. But if you do scroll down, you'll be able to see your actual product details as far as the product title, the ASIN SKU, how many units you've sold, the revenue, offers, and then product reviews. You can go ahead and add any notes as well for your own reference and then create labels to make it a lot more easier to locate. You're always able to create the short title as well, create labels, monitoring, notes, and then cost of goods as well so if you wanted to insert any cost of goods you can individually here. If you go ahead and click on the monitoring tab it will display all of the products that you have and what alerts you have enabled or not. So the ones that have a green check mark indicate that the alert is enabled and you can go ahead and click on any of the alerts and toggle on or off whichever alerts you would like displayed such as product review, hijacker, you can be alerted for any number of offers that do change or increase or decrease only. If you lose the buy box, item title, description, the main image changes, or the price as well, dimensions, and then if it gets flagged as an adult item, category and BSR are coming really soon. You can always bulk monitor as well by selecting all and then doing bulk monitoring. This will make it a lot easier for you to select all of the products at once to enable the alerts. You also have the option to import custom masons and then bulk labels. Again, they help locate the information a lot more sooner if you do filter it out. And then bulk short titles if you wanted to customize any of the short titles in bulk or add any internal notes. If you click on the Profits tab, you'll be able to see that all of the filters are also provided as well. And you can go ahead and search as well, change up the marketplace or the date range provided, and the graphs will display within this date range. So this is selected as the last 14 days, how many units are sold, total promotions, refunds, revenue, cost of goods, Amazon fees, PPC, and then your net profit margins. Again, you can click on any of the graphs and select what you would like displayed. You can also compare it to your previous period by clicking on the show previous to toggle it on. You can change around the date range that is displayed and the graph type that is also displayed. So you'll be able to see how many units have been sold, revenue, promos, refunds, Amazon fees as well. So it's gonna be all of the Amazon fees they might not all be applicable to you, but they will all be displayed right here. And then if you wanted to add any cost of goods, again, you can also from right here, it says COGS. You have the option to open up the graphs as well. And then you can customize the columns to only display what you would like. 
to see. So currently the ones selected are the ones that we're able to see within this page. But if you only wanted to see, let's say, the PPC and the revenue as well, you can go ahead and reset the options as well and change around what is displayed. You can also change how many are displayed within this page. If you click on the products tab above, you'll be able to select Product Review Manager. The Product Review Manager will store your product reviews for your monitored products. And you can search by date range, product name, ASIN, SKU, keywords, or review ID. You can search by the past days or select an exact date. You can filter by star ratings or reviews that have notes left or not and if they're verified purchases or not. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see all of your product reviews and this would be in the most recent format. So you'll be able to see the product info, the review date, and the review details, and the actual product review that was provided. With these action buttons, so you can go ahead and contact Amazon support or you have a direct link to the actual product review by clicking on view Amazon review. If you click on edit, you're able to create custom labels which help filter and locate the review quicker. You can also leave any review notes for your own reference. And if you click on this icon that says group by product, it will go ahead and group all of your reviews by product so you can easily manage all of your product reviews within this page for all of your products that you have monitored. And if you wanted to go back to the most recent form, then you would just click group by reviews. If you click on the reports tab above, you'll be navigated into our report manager page. You have the following options for the report type that you would like to generate, such as buyers, seller feedback, orders, returns, products, reviews, profits, cost of goods, or expenses. You can also select the time range of the actual report or select exact dates and go ahead and generate the report. You'll be able to see all of the reports you've already previously generated within this page as well and you can go ahead and download it into a CSV file. Click on the dashboard section underneath the profits tab. The dashboard will provide an overview of aggregate data. You're able to customize these four different timeframes that are being displayed. And you can also select a single marketplace or compare it with multiple marketplaces at once. You can change the currency that is being displayed. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see a quick overview where you can also select a custom time range as well that you wish to see. And it will display your revenue, cost, net profit and margins and you'll be able to see everything broken down. You can also see your PPCs and your most refunded products or top return reasons. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see by product labels. Product labels are what you assign within your product manager page and product labels group ASINs together that you wish to group together and it will break everything down for you to compare within this section and you're able to see any of the following metrics such as units sold, number of orders, gross revenue, Amazon fees, advertising PPC, total cost, or net profit. You'll see everything broken down by the product labels inside this section. If you click on the top products page, you'll be able to view and analyze your best and worst selling products by clicking on best sellers currently by default and then when you click on worst sellers you'll be able to see your products that are not doing as well. You can break it down by unit sold or gross revenue. You can also see by all products or only the ones that you have marked as favorites within your product manager and this will break it down by the month. If you click on the expense manager you'll be able to see all of your inputted fixed or recurring expenses for your business. You can easily add any expense by clicking on Add Expense. You can import your expenses or also export them as well. You'll be able to see it broken down by the month for your expenses, for monthly recurring expenses, total expenses by count, and then by total. So this will break it down by the month. You can also change the currency and select multiple marketplaces. If you click on the cost of goods manager, you'll be able to see your cost of goods manager and customize the time range that is displayed. 
Within the Cost of Goods Manager, you're able to input any cost of goods by clicking on Add Cogs. You're also able to import or export this data. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to see it broken down by the ASIN level. So for this ASIN, you'll be able to see what cost of goods that have been inputted and you can easily add any individually by clicking here. You can always delete any cost of goods by clicking this icon. If you click on the reports tab above, you'll be able to see everything broken down for the weekly reports and the monthly reports. It will break everything down for you for units, orders, gift wraps, revenues, promos, refunds, Amazon fees, any other fees, PPC, expenses, cost of goods, total cost, net profit, or margins. You can always view the graphs or export the CSV. So if you click on view graphs, you're able to see a graph pop up and you're able to select what metrics you wish to compare and you can always compare it to your previous period and select a time range that you wish to have displayed. You can also change the graph type. Make sure to check out the account settings notifications page to ensure that your notification preferences are enabled so we are able to alert you for any of the following notifications. You can easily turn off any alerts that you don't wish to be notified for by clicking on the notification and seeing the red X. You can always update the preferences to make sure it does save your notification preferences and if you need to add any additional recipients, you can do so within this field. We also offer Managed Accounts. This Managed Accounts section is available if you have requested it through our support site. So Managed Accounts allows you to manage multiple accounts within a single login and if you did have Managed Accounts below here, you'll be able to easily click into any of the accounts that you have set up. It's as easy as this to add any new account into your single login. That's how to set up Feedback Wiz. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more information, please visit FeedbackWiz.com.